Welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa, where transformation begins as we evoke, embrace, and evolve. Greetings, 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 and welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa. It's so good to be here with you, isn't it? Today, I am going to share something that is absolutely amazing and exciting, and you know what? This is what life is all about. What creates excitement for you? And a lot of people talk about passion. And I know some people turn around and say, well, what is passion? How do I get excited? So in life, I want you to think about something that has stressed you and something that has excited you. And when something is exciting, you feel good, actually. Uh, it creates endorphins in your body. And when something is anxi uh, creates anxiety, it creates a sense of feeling down and uh, sad. So today I had a client, a young boy at age 14, who was brought here to me with high anxiety, ADHD, and everything. Sitting over here, uh, he had a lot of questions, which I love. I love young folks, teenagers, children who are so um, open-minded and yet apprehensive about what is it that I do, how I can help them, what is hypnosis, and how do they go into a state of relaxation? Because what they have seen on social media and what we even as adults, the things that are unknown can be scary. What I did was I shared with him how his mind is just like this phone. And I know I've talked about it, how the brain is that little chip inside this phone and all the apps and the pictures and everything else is just like our thoughts and experiences and how he can delete some stuff, which is his anxiety because it's in his control. It's not that he loses control, but through a deep state of relaxation, he can learn how to control his thoughts, his sadness, and his anxiety. And he said, well, show me. You know, I love showing for them to experience what it is. And I said, just sit there with your hands right there on the side of the chair. I want you to imagine that you can move your head without moving, that you can move your fingers without moving your fingers. He did that and he says, okay. And I said, what if right now you just create, or you tell me what is your anxiety level? He said, what do you mean? I said, from one, which is zero, hardly there, to a 10 which is when you go into that state of high anxiety, what would you say is your anxiety now? And this is how accurately he said it. He says, when I walked in here, it was a seven. Right now, it's about eight because I don't know what's gonna happen. And I said, what if right here, sitting in that chair, you can drop one number and bring the level of your anxiety from eight to seven, just like when you walked in. Could you do that? And then he said, okay, I did it. I think I did it. How would I know I did it? And I said, well, it's your choice. It's in the palm of your hands and you can put it in the palm of your hands and would you do that? And he put, placed his hands and he closed his hands because you can do the same thing right now. You can take your anxiety, your stress level, and just imagine whatever it is, you can drop it in the palm of your hand and just close it and you can just hold on to it. And that's what he did, just as you can. And it doesn't matter if it is an anxiety, if it is stress, doubt, worry, guilt, shame, whatever it is, those are nothing but thoughts that come and go. And just place it right there. It's a feeling. It's a feeling you have. And once you have it, you can hold on to it. 
and just keep it right there beside you. And I said, okay, what if you bring that anxiety level one more number down to six? Could you do that? He says, give me a moment. And then he brought it down to six. And I said, what if we bring it just like a seesaw right there in between? Not up, not down, nothing, just pure balance. And if you bring it down to five, would, can you do that for me? And then a few seconds, not even a minute, he says, I got it. And I said, isn't that magical that you have full control, full control of your thoughts, your emotions, your anxiety, your doubt, whatever it is, you have full control. Now close your eyes. And he did. And I said, would you please place your hand not the one that you have all of that in there. Place it, put it in the other one and hold on to it and place your hand on your heart. And I said, would you please do a, a, a pledge? A pledge of allegiance. And he looked at me and he says, well, I do know all the words to it. And I said, it's okay, but this one is a different one. Would you be okay with that? And he says, yes. And I want you to place your hand on your heart, the only heart you have, the only one that you feel with, the one that pulps and pal palpitates for you, that beats for you. And as you place your hand on your heart, just for a moment, say, I pledge allegiance to accept and appreciate myself for all that I am with all my heart and all my thoughts and this incredible body of mine because I matter. He did that. And you know what he said? I had tears in my eyes because he says, now why is it that we have to pledge to the flag and we're not taught in schools to pledge to ourselves first. And if we could do that to ourselves every single day, and if you can do that to yourself and pledge allegiance not to harm yourself, not to hurt yourself intentionally, knowingly or even unknowingly, and you will realize that self-care, self-love, self-kindness starts with you. If you want to manage any stress, if you want to manage anything, start with managing your heart, your mind, and focus on you so that you can bring down that anxiety level, that stress level, and put it in the palm of your hand and then shift it to this hand and then you can even do this and realize that by doing this you can turn it into a game and send it up into the cloud you know i started saying clouds sending negative thoughts stressors all the doubts and worries and everything into the cloud so that the white clouds can take it away i started saying this over 20 years ago and today there is a real cloud that we store our uh, photos in. There is a cloud that has been created that you store all the information and documents and you put it in the cloud, believing, believing that it is safe, right? It is your cloud with your name or whatever name that you named the cloud. And yet it is in the cloud, which is outside of yourself. And although you believe you have control, you have no control over there except the belief. And I want to urge you to start this belief. Because what is belief? It is all thoughts coming together that when you repeat it and you own it and you take uh, self, uh, you take ownership of it, it becomes your belief. 
and it doesn't matter if it is right or wrong just like a placebo it is what you believe will help you it is what you believe that is right or wrong even if it may not be right or wrong according to someone else but it is your belief and because of your belief to know that you can heal, that you can be better, that you can be stronger, and you can accomplish anything, that's what matters. You know, last year they said, what is it that you want, Lisa? And I said, I want to become a jet setter so that I can go and speak on different stages and make a bigger impact in the lives of many more. And... Tomorrow I am flying to another destination to make an impact in the lives of so many. And I have been invited to Dubai, which was a dream place, never on my Richter scale of map or the desire to be this year. And yet, what could be bigger and better than to be invited on like a mini TED talk with CEOs and influencers, HR directors from global places that it's unheard of. And I have been invited, I am honored to have been invited to be on that stage with other leaders and influencers. When you want something send it to the cloud when you want to let go of something in order for that's what we call manifestation know it believe it and then release it and you will know by hoarding it and putting all that stress is not what becomes reality it's by loving kindness and allowing that becomes your reality so it's not about you i will believe it when I see it but in your heart see it know it and the reality will make sure that you come to your belief with that I want to say thank you for all my speakers I've been telling you something amazing is coming and this is the amazing today I am announcing that I will be on stage with disrupt Dubai and I'm flying out tomorrow so stay with me follow me i will be with you i will showcase and bring to you a lot of incredible not only speakers interviews and even places that i will be going so i look forward you can ask me questions you can anything i will be with you and i will post some more pictures for you starting tomorrow until then if there's anything heavy sitting on have sitting heavy on your heart set it free let it go send it into the clouds and ask the wind to take it away and hold to your dreams and your belief system until next week I bid you goodbye next week I will be with you from Dubai Oh my God, it even rhymes. I will be with you from Dubai. So until then, I won't be with you on Mother's Day. So all to all the moms and the mothers, no matter what you do, what you feel, I want you to know that you are loved and cared for. And to my mom, I love you. See you next week. Bye-bye. Short and sweet today. Thank you for being here. If you want to check out some of the testimonials that I've got, click right here. But if you want to go back and watch other videos from a week ago, two weeks ago, even a year ago, click right here. See you next time.